is x times x. x squared. Okay, when we're multiplying, remember we're adding our exponent. Okay, what is it when we take x plus x? That's 2x, because we're adding together our 2x. Okay, you might want to make a little note on there. Okay, because that is probably the most common mistake that is made. Is x times x is x squared, but x plus x is going to be 2x. Okay, so if we multiply example 1, x times x is x squared plus x times 4 is 4x. Four x. Four x. And those aren't like terms, so we just leave them. Why isn't it 5x? Because we're just multiplying. It's just 1x times 4. We multiply our equation. All right, so example 2. 5m cubed times 3m squared is going to give us 3. Down to the fourth. Good. Add your x in there. 5m cubed. What's my sign going to be your face? Minus 5m. Okay, so you're just going to go there. If you're not paying attention, you probably should be uh, paying even more attention. But I've got 5m cubed times 7, I'm going to go there. M2. Okay. One thing we need to be careful with is when there's opposite signs. So look at number three. Okay, I'm not going to make us go through all of these because we just talked about them. So on number three, though, if I multiply my first part, I get t to the fifth. Okay. And then if I have a negative times that minus on the inside, I get a plus. No, just 40 B. B. Okay, because so I'm taking negative 16 times 8. All right, look at number 9. Okay, I've got P squared Q cubed and P to the fifth Q to the second. Multiply your P's. And then multiply your cubes. So p squared times p to the fifth gives me p to the seventh, q to the fifth, minus p to the third and q to the fourth. Because we're we're multiplying. We're not subtracting, we're multiplying. This whole thing is about multiplying. Okay, we're distributing that through and we're multiplying them together. Okay, the only thing that comes down is a subtraction symbol. Okay, but we're multiplying those together. Okay? Right? No. Okay. So number eleven. So we gotta be careful with this one. Because there's no x's to multiply. So if I multiply in there, I get negative 10. Out of the fourth, what do I do with my x? It just comes down. So it stays with s squared. Okay, and then I multiply my next part. What's my sign going to be? Plus. Whoa, whoa, what's how? Plus. And then I multiply my third part. What's this sign going to be? Minus r squared. R squared stays and x to the fourth. Okay, not too shabby, right? All right, look at 16. 
Two more, and then I'll ask her. Okay, 16. We've got two different things that we need to multiply. So I'm going to the first part again. Then I multiply here, I get okay. Then I multiply my second part. Here I get minus 26 blue, and then I got my minus positive plus. All right. When I combine these, okay, your final answer needs to be written in standard form. So what comes first in standard form? 18W2, then what? Minus 35W2, then I've got two separate W's, so let's combine those and get, what is it? Okay. Last one, look at number 21. Okay, I've got three things I gotta multiply. So 3B plus 7B gives me 21V squared. And what? Minus 6v. Okay, and then I'm going to do my second part. So I have plus 3v squared plus 6v plus 3. Okay. And then I've got my last part. Good. Plus 15v squared. Minus 90. All right. You have to combine these squares and get 39. 39B squared. Combine these and get minus 9B. We got negative 6. That's 6. And we've got negative nine and then plus three at the end. Okay, so it's not so horrible, right? 